What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone is having an amazing Sunday. Uh, it's so nice to have Monday off a long weekend, and I get a little vacation coming up Wednesday to Sunday. Kind of upset I'm going to miss the opening week of NFL on Sunday, but what are you going to do? Plenty of other games that I can catch up on. Hopefully, you're out and about and on a nice walk, getting some sun, maybe sitting by the pool. I know fall is coming throughout the year. U.S., you know, we only have three months of summer, folks. Hurts. But in Florida, it's always summer. It's always 95. Beautiful. Yeah, we get some rain here and there. But the rain only lasts like an hour. And you don't even know. Everything's dried up. And you don't even know it rained out. Can't be mad about that. Look, we got a lot to go over. If you can see the top of my screen, which you can't, but if you take my word, we got over 12 tabs open. We're going to try to fit it all in. We're talking Ripple, XRP, crypto market snapshots from back in the day. We're going to view the monthly charts over um, the past decade and the beginning of this video because I didn't get to it in the second video of the day. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this thing. Bitcoin, 58,168,000. It's currently down 1.97% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2,472. It's down 2.23%. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP is trying to push back up to that 56 cent range. Coming in at 0.559. It is now 1.88%. Total crypto currency market cap still sitting above two trillion not too shabby coming in at two trillion and 58 billion remember brad gallinghouse even believes that we will see five trillion in the crypto markets by the end of this year and q4 is when things usually start to get spicy and they start to heat up this is what's interesting. This is what got me excited coming next week. Is the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit officially over? We saw this. This thing is breaking and circulating all around Twitter. Is it true? No one knows, folks. Time will tell, but this would be absolutely amazing if Ripple does pay the fine and the SEC signs on the dotted line, and we can finally say that the case is closed. Exciting week ahead. I do suspect if this gets announced, I am thinking that we would see it tomorrow. Um, just keep your eyes peeled. Obviously, we'll cover it if it does come out and what this means for Ripple moving forward, what this means for XRP adoption moving forward, what this means for an ETF in 2025 to bring in that big old fat bag of institutional money. Michael put this out. The monthly chart for Bitcoin looks excellent. He's expecting September to be green and an excellent Q4 of 2024 here's the current chart he likes what he's saying look it's only a matter of time before bitcoin breaks out we've been chopping for so long now i feel like i've been coming on here for months beyond months just talking about this chop range and that's all it is we chop we go up people get excited we come right back down and revisit the lows we come back up we revisit the lows it's just bouncing around within this magical range but when we look at this this is your Bitcoin monthly chart, folks. This is what we're looking at. September 7 out of the past, I believe it's four, nine months, it's red. The only green months we had in September was 2015 and 2016, which was ages ago. But are we going to break out of this cycle? Could we see a green September? If we don't, the best the bets are on October. As seven out of nine months were green. Six out of nine months in November. And then December is kind of that toss-up era, toss-up time frame. If we do look at the bull cycles, you can see back in 2017, we had a beautiful green month. December of 2020 during that cycle, it was a little red, but it quickly flipped over in 2021 to turn green, a 46% gain. What do we have in store? Look, Q4, we're going to see fireworks. When? We don't know. We don't have a crystal ball of the exact date, time, and month. I firmly do expect we see Bitcoin. I'm pretty confident Bitcoin's going to hit 100,000 by the end of the year. You're probably thinking, Rip, that's a lot of money. But remember, when crypto moves, crypto moves. When Bitcoin starts to move, it's going to push up. The first number for Bitcoin is 74K. After that, the uh, the lid's going to be blown off it. We get this cool, cool little piece of information. Dark Times empowers players with NFT customization on the Sue blockchain. So they're creating a game that's going to be based on NFTs. It's an RPG game. NFTs will be used within the game. It actually looks pretty freaking legit and pretty freaking cool. But that's going to segue me over. If you come to the Lux Lines website, my project, you can see we added two new six sections here. 
for Lux Warfare, which is going to be our shooting game, Call of Duty like Fortnite esque. And your NFTs that you own will be used in games for your camos and your guns, your soldiers, your weapons. If you own it, they show up in game. You can use them when you're done playing the game. You know, you had a good run. Six months down the line, everything you own is an NFT on the XRP ledger. So you'll be able to take that outside of the game and sell it on our marketplace. The same thing goes for King of the Jungle. King of the Jungle is a trading card game. Think about it like uh, Magic the Gathering or Pokemon, where you battle with cards. You have to purchase your cards. They're all NFTs. You can sell those cards. You know, you can sell them in bulk, sell them single, but everything that you use in game will be on the XRP ledger and can be removed from the game itself. Warfare is already in beta. King of the Jungle should be released in September from what I am hearing. Bitcoin slips back to 58,000 and continued downward action but next week could offer some upside excitement so could this be the week where bitcoin kicks off and we start to flip it around and we start to turn green that is what we need to be paying attention to and in ripple they put out a new uh a new white paper here i don't know if many of you read it i got it pulled up it states that ripple highlights in its new white paper that leaders in the banking circles worldwide are bullish on the opportunity of modern payment technology this is what is meant by the phase the train has left the station. It's not a question of if, but when the moment when global regulatory clarity is reached, the internet of value can be finalized. So what do I think we're waiting on? I think we're waiting for on policies. I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think policies within the U.S. are the biggest thing. I think a lot of these other countries are waiting for the U.S. to draft up and adopt regulatory policies on crypto because then they're going to take that policy and they're going to piggyback off of it. We clearly know that the old system, the old financial system is being upgraded and we are moving to a DLT blockchain solution. Um, these Nostro Vostro accounts of 10 plus trillion dollars that are sitting in these vacant accounts just to hold money that are pre-funded so they can move money around and cross borders. That's going to be a thing of the past. Are we going to see all 10 trillion disappear overnight? No, of course not. It will be a slow transaction, especially working with governments and banks. It takes time. But when we get time and we get adoption and we get the rails being cut over, we will see everything being moved over to a blockchain solution. And here's the white paper from Ripple. Came out this year talking about big opportunity and small business payments. You can get that directly from Ripple's website. Let me see this XRP. Over 167 million unlocked from an escrow wallet. Folks, who's going to start the FUD train? We know how this works. The first of the month, XRP gets released. Some gets returned to escrow, some does not. Nothing has changed as I've been in the market. This has always been the go to on the first. But yet, and I've been here since 2017. Since 2017 on the first, we're going to get the tweets, we're going to get the heat. Ripple's dumping again. There goes the price. Down, down it goes. And it's the same narrative, the same song and dance over and over again. If you are an XRP holder and this is news to you, you really need to go do your own research and figure out what's going on here because this is nothing out of the ordinary. This is nothing that should drive fear or FOMO into the markets. Seoul got the XRP Ledger Hackathon going on, organized by the XRPL Korea. Love to see this look. 2017, mass adoption came from South Korea. That is where we saw the pricing high of, of XRP uh, in the South Korean currency was three dollars and eighty cents. No, you never got that in the U.S. The high about in the U.S. was probably around two eighty to three bucks, and then we know we all know what happened from there, right? And the, the Korean pair got removed from the exchange because the price difference was too much. People thought that the price of XRP was in a downward movement. Down we go all the way back to twenty cents. But South Korea led the way. So hackathons and the XRP ledger support and what's going on over there is going to lead to big things this way. When we had this, Elon, we covered it in the first video. And Elon talked about, you know, how his platform is banned in Brazil. So now what he's looking to do, he's looking to launch his Twitter, his XVPN that's going to allow you access to Twitter from anywhere in the world. And it seems people try to do stuff against Elon, but he always just has the answer. We talked about the lawsuit 
And then we get this, Ripple's white paper, which is highlighting the great opportunity for Ripple itself. Business to business payments, the market is expected to reach 174 trillion, trillion. By 2023, they initially said, folks, that's by 2030, excuse me, that's huge. B2B payments reach 174 trillion by 2030. That's six years away, not even. It's about five years away. All Ripple got to do is grab a little piece of the pie. They're not going to get 100%. Even if they get 10% of this, that is massive numbers running across the XRP ledger. I do believe they will grab a lot more than 10%, but you know what? We shoot low, we aim high. That's how easy this is. Look, exciting times ahead. The markets are boring. The markets are choppy. The markets are ranging. That is all going to turn around. All it takes is one green candle from Bitcoin to send this thing to the freaking moon. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Hopefully you got Monday off. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.